Welcome back, folks. Tommy O'Brien joined by Basil Chapman this morning. We got the Dow up 106. S&P is flat right now at 29.93. NASDAQ in the negative by about eight points. And let's go over to our man, Jack Leeson, as we do every Thursday, 40 past the hour. We should call it Where in the World is Jack Leeson the segment. Jack Leeson, <laughs> good morning. What's happening? Good morning, guys. Um, I am in Chicago Hi, here today at my office, so nothing, nothing, exci nothing exciting this time. I always say um, we wait for you to be back in Costa Rica. July, That's a do you, do you guys, you still got all your fingers and stuff. I know fireworks are legal down there in Florida. They're not legal up here. But They're not so legal, happy. man. The world changes, and it seems so normal. Yes, I have all my fingers. Thank goodness. July Fourth was good, but everyone survived. I believe Basil does as well. Um, so what do they just have for you guys? Sparklers and so forth. They got the innocent ones in Florida yeah, man. you know like the things you throw them yeah it, but we got them in Indiana and we got them in Wisconsin I was actually up in Wisconsin for the fourth nice. so you know a couple mortars here and there you know uh, and just before we get in the market it is crazy than Florida I believe and I think we touched on it last time right that it's it's something where you're almost signing that you're gonna use them for a purpose of like um, hunting or, or ground removal on your your there's some loophole that they get into the ability to, to sell you the type of explosives for your uh, but nonetheless, always be careful yeah, right? with fireworks. I mean, All right, so what are we looking like at in the market today, Jack? Man, we got a lot going on in terms of Oh, power. yeah. I mean, gosh, I mean, a little slow on the indexes here. So with this yeah. type of, I mean, you know, Powell's on the mic today. I am uh, not looking to do, I mean, I'd probably want to play the short side here today. I'm, I'm just trying to uh, look for a, like a decent trend. Gold's coming nicely off its high. Oil was the, really the big mover yesterday. You had the inventory draw that was pretty steep. Sure, nine um, plus million barrels, yeah. Yeah, nine plus million barrels. I'm looking at a 5970 pullback in oil right now. I'd like to uh, trade that 5970 level, and then I got a level at 6011. So, I mean, those are obviously just, you know, I'm most primarily a day trader. So, those are shorter time frame levels that I'll be looking for. Uh, some bounces off of. We'll see if the S&P can get down to uh, yesterday's lows. I'm looking at 90 quarter and then 94 quarter for the S&P. But man, we're really having a tough time fully cracking that 3,000 level. 27,000 uh, 27, for the first time in history in the Dow here today. Uh, so that's, I know, that's lots kind of, of you guys was, got a twenty seven thousand hat over there? Not yet, I know. We ordered it on Amazon. It's supposed to be here in two hours. Well we'll get it. Seriously? <laughs> no, By the not time yet. It arrives, you can I, change the I believe it. I mean they they deliver half the things I order in two hours on Amazon. I mean do you guys got uh, Whole Foods by you down? We down do, here? and we're actually lucky in Tampa. I'm not sure about Boston up by Basel, but Tampa has a big two hub. Okay, nice. So yeah, I'm sure. And, and um, but Tampa is a big hub as well. So we get a lot of early roll out, rollout in terms of uh, one of the you know when they started doing same day delivery. Tampa was one of the first markets when they started expanding it because they have a, a big hub. Um, so we we got a lot. We we get we get some good action in terms of what they put out. Interestingly enough, I saw a tweet from Bezos. It was either a tweet, maybe it was on Instagram, one of his accounts, I follow him. And um, he was saying how he binge watched Stranger Things 3. We're jumping around. But that, of course, on Netflix. And I said, man, that's that's interesting that, you know, he's basically out there saying. And then I started thinking about, well, if Jeff Bezos couldn't comment on anything that Amazon competed with, he probably couldn't talk about almost like anything in the world because they compete with almost everything, you know, in terms of Microsoft, Netflix, HBO, what could you compete with, you know, talk about? So he's, he's resigned to the fact that uh, everybody's his competition and he's not afraid of, of touting them when he still comes at it. I thought it was interesting because I don't think you'd ever see Reed Hastings from Netflix talking about binge watching an Amazon Prime show, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's for sure. But, I mean, he's taking on the world pharmacies. Yeah. You know, a health, I mean, I, I just hope he takes on health care, you know, for the sake of all of us. And I think they are with that uh, venture they're doing with Berkshire, right? Uh, so I'm sure they got plenty. Yeah, for sure, with JP Morgan in on that too. Yes, right. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So, no, what about no, no. gold, Jack? We had some action in gold. I know you're always looking. We ran up yeah, again so last right night. Now, yeah. So right now, basically, like my upside targets on this on this daily move. I mean, I don't have on this computer. I don't have my charts loaded, so I can't share my screen. But I'll, I have the gold I'm, chart up here. Go for uh, it. Okay, cool. So the uh, I'm looking for like the next run up. If we can get a breakout, actually, to head up to like 1465 is going to be uh, my profit target. And then my major levels that are just below as general supports, you got the halfway back for the week. So the low of the week to the high of the week divided by two is 1408, 1408 half. Uh, that could possibly come into play today. We're not far from those levels, about four points. And then we have a couple of bigger levels I'm watching. 
1407.3 and then 1396 is really the level i want to see us consistently stay above 1396 if we do get a couple you know if we start losing 1396 and build some momentum below that i would uh probably play a breakdown for like 30 points at least um i really think it's important to hold that level moving forward so that's really my crucial support level that 1396 so sure. mark that up i have alerts set there and then today I'm, i am going to be looking for a day trader on that 1408 half level which like i said that's the low of uh that's what's that tuesday which was the low of the week to the current high is 1408 half but yeah fantastic run yesterday um, you know, reversing half of it. And if, if you look at an hourly chart, that 1408 half, that 50% for the week is really where we consolidated and then caught that second leg of the bid out. So I always like to line up my Fibonacci sequences with just general support and resistance levels that other traders might be looking at. Sure. And that's at 1408 half. Nice. And, um, and how about oil? Because we talked about it, oil quite a run yesterday, man, and uh, continuing kind of that that run all the way. I mean, we're sitting almost at, at highs. We made it to 6094, but we're sit sitting 6042 right now. Yep. So uh, right now I'm looking at 6011, and then there is like what I call an extension sequence, which is a, a really aggressive bid sequence. Um, the current fib draw I would look at it would be the actual high of Monday. So that's 58.46 drawn to the high and uh, that 50% retracement brings us back to 59.70 uh, and that's 59.70 being the most significant level that I'm going to be looking for uh, in oil here today. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's amazing the volatility we've gotten in oil, in gold, and it makes sense, I guess, when you look at vol oil has its own deal in terms of just last night, right? We had Iran and um, British Navy in terms of a ship getting attacked. Pretty interesting that that stuff keeps coming yeah, to light. Yeah, I, I saw Iran had denied that they did that. I don't know if yeah, they did. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of rhetoric out there in terms of not who to believe, but there's a lot, you know, it's it's uncertainty, I think, which is remarkable that it hasn't. Like another Captain Phillips type movie with oh, a, man, you know, right. they board the ship. <laughs> Tom Hanks, is he getting ready? He's getting ready. That was a good one. Yeah, playing the role, playing yeah. the role. Well, Jack, um, what, do you, what do you guys got on your radar? Any Anything specific, any markets you guys are really liking commodity-wise? I haven't paid attention. I know uh, corn's been on a big, big run. You know, I had asked you about really what I look at, which is the gold and the oil, man. They moved, they've they moved so much recently, too, in terms of the volatility. Gold itself, um, that was a nice bounce. You start getting under, and I think I had, I had played with even you. You talk about... Um, the Fibonacci's jack, and I think I had pulled it up. I had talked with it on Basil, I think one of the earlier shows, you know, just going from the run that it started in the late May, a 38% retracement is 1378. So this is kind of a healthy area, but if you start backing down to there, I might be a little bit worried. And that's a little bit longer time frame, but you know, the Absolutely. run has just been. Well, Jack, we appreciate the update, man. As always, you have a great week, man, and we look forward to talking to you next Thursday. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Okay, Thank you, man. Folks, Basil and I are going to be coming back in three minutes. Come on back and join us.